Well, I had somebody ask me how I was able to power these uh, fluorescent bulbs with the 10,000 volt bug zapper transformer and not fry the fluorescent bulb. And uh, I just thought I'd make a little video of these, uh, how simple these fluorescent lamp fixtures are. So uh, right now I have uh, 110, the positive line is connected to this coil of wire around this core. This is just a single current limiter, a uh, single coil current limiter transformer. And it's connected to one side of the fluorescent bulb. And the neutral line is connected to the same filament prong as the current limiter is over here. So they're bo both. Uh, the neutral and the positive line are connected to the same side of the fluorescent bulb. Uh, and once you have it plugged in, all you have to do is connect the, the prongs on the opposite side of the bulb together. Like that, there we go, finally. Okay, so, yeah, you connect the two opposite ends of the filament prong uh, together, and it heats, it, it heats up the filaments and it causes the electricity to begin to flow through the bulb here. But if it gets unplugged, it won't come back on unless you connect the two ends again. And you just have to connect them for a second. And they pop on and then you don't leave it connected anymore. It's a toggle on off switch basically. Okay now for the bug zapper uh, we virtually have the same setup except for a single coil current limiter transformer. Instead of this single one, we're going to be using a primary and secondary step-up transformer. So we're going to use the primary winding as the current limiter, like we did, like we just did before. But now, as the it runs the bulb, it's going to supply the um, current for the high voltage secondary winding, just by having the fluorescent bulb use this uh, the primary winding is a current limiter so same thing as before it's plugged in and we just connect the two end prongs together So now, as the bulb is running, uh, as the primary winding is running the bulb, you can have the secondary winding energize the bug zapping cage. So this would be one cage, this would be the other cage, and as this winding current limiter coil runs the bulb it supplies the step up voltage for the bug zapping cage so that's how you run the bug zapping cage and the uh, fluorescent bulb fixtures at the same time pretty simple stuff <laughs>